Okay, so on uh, on this one, I'm going to show you how to set up a Git on a local hard drive. I've seen a lot on, I don't know, Perforce and Microsoft Azure and Git and GitHub, but I really, it's one of those things that, I don't know, if I'm just looking for something that's just a, I don't know, a quick backup, I guess. I don't necessarily need to be storing stuff if I'm not sharing it with a group, you know, or some other developers. I just want a straight backup for myself. Uh, this makes it easier than, you know, either zipping it up and throwing it on a hard drive or I guess just doing kind of a drag and drop. Um, it, you know, if your your projects start to get pretty big, it, uh, well, it can take a little bit to transfer those files. So doing a, a push is always faster, at least, at least what I found. So this would be a quick way to back something up. Once we have that, we'll go ahead and open up the folder where it is, and we're going to right click. And then we're going to go to Generate Visual Studio Project Files. I typically use Rider, but I think you have to have Visual Studio for this. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. Um, I, I have it, but I still like Rider, so I, I use both. I've got both of them on my machine. You can, I believe, download the files from their official GitHub. Uh, once you have these up, we'll go ahead and open the solution, the SNL file. SLN, SNL, SLN. So this is going to take a little bit uh, to run. Just click that. Once these are done, you got to allow it to make changes. Once these are all done loading, uh, we'll go ahead and hit the debug button when this turns green. Once that is all ready, we're going to go ahead and build it I really for the first time. So again, this one takes a little bit. Uh, once this is done building, we'll get into the project. All right, once this is up, we're going to go ahead and click on revision control in the bottom right. We'll connect to revision control. And then what we want to do is we want Git right here. So there's going to be two things that we have to get. And uh, I will put these links in the video description. Uh, but the first one, it's we got to get Git, right? It's the, the whole thing <laughs> that we have to get. That's the, the purpose or the point. And then uh, the next one that we're going to get is the get large file storage. So this is definitely necessary because some of the files do get a little bit larger and it just it gets to be a pain in the butt. So once you go ahead and download those, uh, then we can get into your Git. So you do want to add a Git ignore. Leave this. This should be the location of your Git once it's installed. Uh, you can ignore the username and the email if it's only for backup. If you are setting this up to work with you know, other teams, if you end up putting your drive as accessible through um, a port, uh, separate stuff, but you will want to go ahead and, and work on those. And that's something that you can do, but um, I'm not going to touch on that for now. But you do want to add this git ignore. You can remove the readme, uh, and then you do want to add a git attributes. So these two things we definitely have to check because we're going to come back to those later. You can or can't check the initial um, git commit. I'm going to uncheck it because we're going to go through that in bash once we get there. Um, but let's go ahead and initialize the project with git. Take a little bit to load down here. And once that is done, we'll just go ahead and accept settings. So you're going to get uh, a little warning that says something about the LFS is not. I forget. I might come back and, and talk about that. I haven't had any issues if I ignore it, so I've just ignored it for now. So uh, once that is all done, um, we can basically go back into Rider. Yeah, it's this warning right here. So it's the the LF will be replaced by the CRLF. And I think that has to do with that might be a Linux and the CRLF is Windows. Um, but again, I haven't messed with that and it hasn't given me any issues. So we'll go ahead and stop this. You can't be running this or else your Git's not going to uh, copyright. So we'll go ahead and close out of this once we're all done. And then again, we'll close out of there. First thing that we have to do is we've got to bring up our external hard drive. Now I'm just going to create a folder and name it the name of the project that I'm working on. Uh, once we have that, we can leave that. And then we can go into our project folder. Notice you're going to have a couple other files here. You've got the git folder, you've got this git attributes, and the git ignore. Now because this is a local backup, what I'm going to do is open this up and edit the git ignore. Uh, if you are sharing it, you might not want to do this, but go ahead and open it up in Notepad. 
and what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up everything so I'm just going to delete this and I'm going to save it as blank okay so once we have these folders in here what we're going to do is right click and we're going to go down to get bash here now because I edited it edited it in it <laughs> because I did the init in Unreal uh, I don't have to do get init so the first thing that I'm going to do is get remote add backup and then this is going to be the file location for uh, the backup folder that I just made a uh, quick side note one thing I forgot to mention that we have to add I'm going to throw this in here is get LFS install with that we can get back to the next step once we have that, the next thing that we're going to do is get add dot. And this will take a little bit to run through. Just a quick side note. Uh, if you did want to change your username and the email, again, I'm going to have all of the instructions in the, the description of this video. Um, but if you did want to change your username, it's going to be this git config dash dash global user dot name and then your name. And then your email would be git config dash dash global user dot email and then your email. So if you did want to make the changes, even if it's a local, something that you're using, uh, that's how you go ahead and do that. So once the ad is done, we're going to go ahead and do git commit. And we're working on the master. And we'll call this initial commit for your project name. All right. So once our commit is done, we're going to go ahead and do git push backup master. Now we're going to get an issue with that, right? So to fix that, CD into the location that your backup folder is. And then we're going to do git init dash dash bear. So then we need to CD back into our project. And there you go. Uh, one, I don't know if any of you are familiar with using command prompts. Uh, typically, if you hit up, it will go through some of the previous prompts that you've entered. Prompts, commands, <laughs> whatever. It'll, uh, whatever some of the, the commands that you have previously typed you can scroll through those so all in all i mean it didn't take that long to set up i know i fast forwarded this video quite a bit but uh, i mean we're looking at like 20 minutes to set all of that up i don't have the fastest computer and i don't have the slowest computer in the world but it really it didn't take too much to set that up uh, i'm going to go ahead and show you now how to test it to make sure that you are uh, good to go with the backup all right, so once that is up, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this out, but I will go ahead, I'll open the project again. It takes a little bit to load. I kind of fast forward through here. All right, so once we're in the project, I'm just gonna go right in here and I really am just gonna make a an actor. So I'll go ahead and Control S to save that. And then I do wanna go in here and again, just make another actor. Uh, let's call this one one so I know that they're different. Go ahead and save that. I'm going to close out. Let's go ahead and push the backup again. So we should save just those two files. Oh, I think we need to, <laughs> sorry, uh, we need to commit. So we'll do git commit, the master, test, backup. All right. Once we've got all of those, now we can push to master. Okay, so once that is done, uh, again, this is just for testing purposes. You're not gonna have to keep going back and forth. Uh, I mean, obviously you will, you know, when you're working on your project, but like this, you, your stuff is already done. I'm just showing you that, that everything worked. All right, so once we're back in here, now I'm gonna go ahead and, so this is in the plugin. I'm going to go ahead and delete that and then I will delete this actor as well so uh, as you can see the actors are no longer there however they are still in our git backup which is what we're testing for now let's exit all right so now if you wanted to do a recovery let's say you go ahead and delete all of this oh I have to close out of git Okay, so project is gone. Reopen bash. And I'm going to type git clone your backup location. I probably could have made it shorter for the uh, 
the tutorial, but here we are. So then it is your project's destination location. When that's done, let's open the folder. All right, as you can see, all of our files are back. Go ahead and open up the project again. So now that we are back in our project, take a look and there is our uh, actor in the plugin. So we know the plugins are working. And then now uh, let's go back to the main folder and there is our blueprint again. So that is it. Everything is working. That is how you set up a Git backup on uh, source control in Unreal to a local drive. Hopefully you guys liked that video. You found it useful. If you have any questions, let me know below. Um, but I will catch you guys next time.